Hi guys, today's video is in front of the Christmas tree. Oh my God. I have moved my room a little around a little bit rather. And the only other place that I would film in front of the Christmas tree is very, very bright light if I want to do like makeup videos and things. And so you don't really get the same vibe. I wanted it to be a bit festive. We're nearly in December. For those of you asking about Vlogmas, I am on the fence right now as to whether or not I'm going to do um, vlogs every day. I think I'm, I was, I was just going to continue as we are. Uh, but I think what I might do instead is I'm going to vlog. So there'll be a video every single day in December just to make it different from Vlogmas Eve. Um, uh, so I vlog every single day. A video every single day in December, but every other day will be a vlog and every other day will be like a beauty video. That's my plan or a shopping video. Don't worry, they're not going away. But let me know what you think in the comments. Um, so today we're going to talk about Amazon Beauty. Their Black Friday deals have started now. It's like a week of Black Friday now instead of just like Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Um, then it was like Cyber Weekend. Now it's just a full on Black Friday week. So they've already started. There are multiple deals. I'm going to talk about Audible at the end. This is not a sponsored video. I love Audible and there's an amazing deal right now. Um, but also all the links below will be affiliate links. So that is the only way in which this is vaguely sponsored. I am not being paid to make this video. However, if I talk about something, you don't want to go through the link, you can just Google it yourself. That is your prerogative. So I'm going to talk about some of the makeup stuff that I've purchased from Amazon recently. Um, the first thing on my lap is this. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. To be completely honest, uh, the jury's out on this a little bit. I've only used this a couple of times, but I wanted to mention it because there's a kind of funny story behind it. I purchased this, plus another thing, I think it was a powder, um, for a video. And the video was um, things that you guys were recommending, basically. If you saw the best, I think it was called Best Sellers, um, Get Ready With Me, or Best Sellers, Beauty, Best Sellers, I don't even know the name of my own video. I'll try to remember to link it below. So in that video, I, I told the story. Um, but I was trying to buy the things from the different places to get it all together and I bought this, you could only get it from Superdrug and um, I accidentally delivered it to my old dress so that sucks and unfortunately uh, I couldn't get it again in time anywhere but from Amazon because I've got Amazon Prime, it came the next day and so I did technically buy this from Amazon um, and I just love I love Amazon Prime, we actually do use Amazon Prime like the, the TV streaming service but even if it was just for next day delivery um, I would still pay the subscription purely because that thing of middle of the day, oh my God, I need something for tomorrow. For me specifically for like videos and things, um, the thing of being able to order it and knowing it'll be here tomorrow is massive. So that is where I purchased that, but it's not necessarily endorsement because I'm not massively a fan of it. However, this Technic Soft Focus Transparent Loose Powder, I am a fan of. This is very, very similar. I've seen someone with a high-vis jacket walk past my house. Is he the postman? No, okay, we can continue. Um, very, very similar to the Vichy Derma Blend. It's not quite as fine. That is one of my favorite setting powders. I think that's in the region of like 18 pounds-ish. Um, and this is like nothing by comparison. This is a few pounds. Uh, it might have even been like two or three pounds. And it's a very, very fine soft focus powder. That's really what I, I enjoy. Um, where you can kind of just put it all over your face. It's, it's, you don't have to worry so much about it looking cakey or dry or very, very heavy. It's just super, super finely milled and gives you that kind of blurred effect. Big fan. And this is a um, very, very inexpensive version of that. Something that I used a lot when I did um, Budget Beauty Month in September was this. It's the Laval Blusher in Peach Haze. And it's a really pretty colour. Oh, he's gone back. He's walking up and down outside my house. It's a really, really pretty blusher. And the colour is really nice. A very, it's kind of just like a, just like a warm neutral. And um, whenever I wore it in those foundation videos, it always got compliments and questions. And it was, again, super, super cheap. This I'm personally not a fan of. I purchased this um, for a video and I just never really got on board with it. And so um, Ella has it and she really likes it. It's the Absolute Lashes. It's obviously supposed to be a dupe for the their reel from Benefit. I don't really like their reel from Benefit, so what made me think I would like this, I don't know. What are these guys doing outside my house? Don't they know, I'm trying to film a video. So it's very, it's just very, very similar. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with this, I just don't like what it's even trying to dupe. So, you know when you buy something and you're like, what were you thinking? That is up there. This is the foundation that I reviewed recently. I would be wearing it today because I was such a fan of it, but I had a bit of a run-in with a makeup eraser. I just want this out there. For those of you who are kind of considering it or maybe you've had the same experience and you didn't know what it was, 
It was 100% the makeup eraser. So I used it, this is like the microfiber cloths, the ones that take off your makeup without cleanser. I've been not a massive fan of those anyway, I don't like the idea of them. I think they're the same material we use for like cleaning and like cars and stuff. I'm not, I just feel like that's perhaps not supposed to be on your face. Uh, but also I like a cleanser. So I received one in my FabFitFun box and um, I took off my makeup. It was just like, oh, I'll try this. Took off my makeup, I was downstairs, did my skincare, everything as normal. Woke up the next day, didn't really think anything. Uh, but my face was a bit warm and I was filming a video. It might have even been that bestsellers video. Oh, callback already. Um, and I said, I don't really know what's going on. My face seems really red today and it's quite warm to the touch. When I edited that video, when I turned to the side, there was a very distinct, this is once I'd had foundation on, there was a very distinct red. It was like I was wearing a red mask. It was crazy. Um, and I just couldn't get my head around it. And as I was editing, I was thinking, what did I use? What was it? Nothing. The night before I used the makeup eraser. And then, I'm just pretty much coming out of it now, my skin started flaking. I truly think that it like damaged the surface layer of my skin because then it was like peeling away. Very, very fine layer. But it was just kind of like flaking away like I'd had a peel. Insane. And I am convinced it was the makeup eraser. I used it once. So if you are thinking of using it and you've got very sensitive skin, or maybe if you have used it or you've been using it and you're like, what's wrong with my face? I'm sure it's great for lots of people. There's a reason it's so popular, but just, you know, buyer beware, it's not gonna be great for everyone. So back to the subject at hand. The Fuera, don't buy, don't buy the makeup eraser from Amazon. I'm not endorsing that. Um, the Fuera, 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 or however you pronounce this, um, foundation is fantastic. The video I filmed on this, will be useful for those of you who are wondering whether or not it's gonna last. Yes, spoiler alert, how it applies, amazingly. It's very natural, but a super high coverage, very long wearing, uber cheap. I think I got mine for like £2.50. There are multiple different sellers, different prices. I've not seen one for more than £5. Um, loads of different colors. I just, I think it's really, really, really great. Um, and I know it's, it looks like it's supposed to be a dupe of the ordinary, but I've tried the ordinary foundation and it's nothing like this, so it's just the packaging. But it is really, really good. It's not a gimmick, it's legit. Um, lastly, the thing that I've been using a ton recently, you wouldn't think it to, to see how much I've used, but you really don't need very much of it at all if it's just the one face that you're using. This is the Mayron Mixing Liquid, and I use this for glitter. So there is gonna be a video coming very, very soon where I talk about the different glitters that I feel like grown-up glitter, different glitters that are very easy to wear, no fallout, how to apply them to, um, make them like more flattering or make them so that you look no fallout, that's the biggest thing, so that they'll last and you will end up with it all over your face. And this has been a massive game changer in that. This, any kind of glitter product, I'll dip my brush in this and then I put it on my cotton pad, which I'll show you because it's not a real one, um, just to kind of get any excess liquid off there. And then I mix it into whatever it is, if it's a pigment, if it's loose glitter, if it is, um, it could be a gel, I don't care what the formula is, that brush is going in this first because I am now convinced that this is the secret to the universe when it comes to glitter not ending up all over your face. So stay tuned for that video, but in the meantime, if you can't wait, this is a really, really good buy. Um, right, we're gonna talk a little bit about skincare products that I've purchased recently and use a lot. This is um, gonna be no surprise for those of you that watched my eco-friendly beauty video. Uh, I, I did a video specifically on that because my my kind of message of the video, let's say, was we can all make small changes. Let's not hold everyone to like the standard of 100%. If everyone makes small changes, it does make a difference overall. They do all add up, as Tesco say. Every little helps, but we're talking about Amazon. So it, it does make a massive difference if we all come together and make small changes that are easy to make. And so in that video, I was showing you the, the, the changes that I felt were not difficult. They didn't really take anything away from my life. And um, I think if you can make those changes, then why not? So that was the whole vibe of the video. I know some people probably didn't watch because they thought it was gonna be like super preachy or um, kind of jumping on a bandwagon, far from it. I just think that if, if I can make a change, anyone can make a change. Funny story, I have um, now forgone any kind of takeaway coffee unless I've got my flask with me. And yesterday I went to get um, my Costa, and I'd taken my special flask, I've got it around here somewhere, I'd taken my thing with me, I was very excited um, when I got my Costa, and I said before anything else, because previously when I've told them I've got my own cup, I've done, I've given them my order and told them, and they said, you need to tell us at the beginning, because it's a cheaper drink, which I didn't know, but whatever. So from now on, I always say, I've got my own cup, that's how I start my order, and then I tell them what my order is, and I get there, they ask for the cup, they fill it up. On this occasion, 
I handed over my cup and the guy that was serving at the till turned around, I can see everything, turned around to the person who was making the coffee and said, oh, that's a reusable one. And I saw him decant it from the disposable cup into my reusable cup and toss the disposable cup in the bin. Now, I am not whiter than white when it comes to these things. You know, I still do do things that I shouldn't do. There's plenty of single use waste that I use that I shouldn't be using. That's not the point. If you're making these small changes, if you're really trying in these small arenas, it just kind of blew my mind. I'm like, what is the point? What What is the point? Um, I just, you know, I hope that's not actually their policy. But I kind of wanted to mention that because it's on topic. So back to skincare and things that I've purchased from Amazon. Uh, first of all, I've promised this video and it is coming. I promise, promise, promise. But I um, want to try a different razor first and I haven't actually gotten around to doing that. So this is a... What is this called? I don't remember what this is called. It's, I'm, it was like so on the tip of my tongue for so long and I haven't told anyone about it for months and now I can't remember what it's called. It's like an old fashioned razor. Safety razor? Safety razor. It's an old fashioned razor. Basically you have individual razor blades which you can get them in like massive packs. I just have this right now as like a, to show you. Um, individual razor blades that are like in wax paper you can unscrew this i showed you in like a close-up in that video but you unscrew this or this butterfly there's various different ways of doing it and then you have the razor blade in there it's the closest shave i've ever got i get no kinds of razor burn um it does take a little minute to like get used to it you might nick yourself but you know if you nick yourself with a regular razor it's the same thing it's no it's no more dangerous providing you are careful when you put the blade in the razor. Beyond that, it's not as difficult as it may seem and you are using a lot less single-use plastic. So that is one of the things that I talked about in that video and that I have been purchasing from Amazon. The um, the blades, I bought a big one of the blades now and I'm going to be purchasing another butterfly, one where you like twist the thing up and it opens, a different kind of razor. I'm going to be reviewing that in the new year for you. Something that I replaced, I know we're getting off topic and now it's eco-friendly, but this is relevant to why I use these things. Something I replaced my um, eye patches with, and I do still have some, and I'm still gonna use them up because I might as well use them if I've got them, it's not like I can un uncreate them. Um, but I do still have some eye patches that I'll use kind of like occasionally, special occasions. Um, but day to day, if I am feeling puffy and my I want to kind of brighten up my eyes and make them feel a little bit more awake, then I'll use this. So it's very, very cold. It's a jade roller. Oh my goodness, I have a bruise here because I was moving some stuff around and this picture right here was falling and I caught it with my face right on my cheekbone and just even the tiniest, tiniest touch, it's so sensitive. Thankfully, it's not a visible bruise, but whew, ouch. Anyway, so I'll do the other side. So I'll roll it over my eyes and it just kind of cools the whole area, depuffs. It's also great for lymphatic drainage. So just generally facial massage is a really nice idea. Um, but this particularly did take the place of those kind of masks, especially after a night out, you've got Christmas parties coming up. It's really, really nice. Um, the next day to kind of like do this, use a facial oil, just kind of feel like more yourself again. So I really, really like that. You can get them for, again, super, super cheap on Amazon. Um, I bought a couple of sets of these. Lots of people have asked um, specifically which ones I've got, so I will again leave the link below or they'll be in that landing page that I mentioned. Um, they look a bit scruffy, but they've been washed and they're not, you know, it's like flannels, sometimes they get stained, it's not really a big deal. Um, but I throw them in the washing machine. The weirdest thing is, they all went pink when I washed them. It's so strange. They weren't in with anything pink and I feel like they get pinker every time I wash them. I don't understand why that is, but they do. Um, but they work really well and once you've started washing them, they get softer and softer. One side is a bit velvety, um, which I know some people have a problem with, but I, I, I don't. And then the other side is cottony. The velvety side kind of uh, retains the liquid a little bit better. So if you've got something that's like a lot that you want to use, a micellar water or something, then it's good. If you've got something um, else that you want to be absorbed less, it's, it's good on the cotton side. Uh, but I use these every single day. And uh, the last thing, which eventually I did come around to using quite frequently, and that is this silicone face mask. It is insane. Um, I realized that I was a complete fiend when it came to sheet masks, single use, everything. <laughs> In that instance is terrible. The packaging, um, the actual thing itself, you can get biodegradable ones, most of them aren't. Uh, but it's basically like baby wipes. If we're trying to 
reduce um, our use of like face wipes, baby wipes, that kind of thing, then face masks are exactly the same material. Again, every, you can get biodegradable versions of these things, but even the um, packaging that it comes in, that's unlikely to be recyclable or widely recyclable. Again, I'm not preaching. I do loads of things that are like against all of this, but I'm just saying if you care to make small changes, um, then that is a really easy one to make. I now put serums and stuff, like my regular face care really, my regular skincare, um, and I'll put a serum on my face and then I put this on. I don't want to put it on right now because I'm testing this foundation. I don't want to ruin it, but I like put it on my face. The reason that at first I was like, oh, this is not great is because these would pull really, really hard on my ears. Like they would really, it was really uncomfortable. It's made for a smaller face than mine. Um, but eventually, like I would just like sit and stretch it and eventually it managed to stretch. I think at one point I put it on my face and I had like um, a bun in the back of my hair and I put this all the way around the back of the bun and the other one all the way around. So it was really, really, really stretched out. And eventually I stretched it to a point where it was comfortable. Um, but I mean, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty stretchy. Uh, but that's been my, what's the word? Equivalent, my alternative, my replacement for um, face masks. So that's everything that I bought from Amazon beauty wise recently that I can think of. I was just kind of looking through thinking, oh, that was that, that was that. Um, some things came to mind immediately, but I just can't tell you if there was anything else because it just didn't come to my mind immediately. Now, before I go, I'm going to mention the Amazon thing, um, the Audible thing, sorry. I do believe it is $3.99 for your first three months of Audible. So it's usually $7.99, I think, £7.99. £7 um, I think that's what I pay. And uh, I mean, already I think it's worth it. I know it's expensive, but you are purchasing something that someone has made. If you paid $7.99 for a physical book, I don't think that you would care that much. I far prefer an audio book. Um, I, it means I just get through so many more. I love self-development. I love memoirs. Um, occasionally I will look at novels and stuff. In fact, I have a hashtag. I'm using, I'm putting them out there like a little bit at a time because I know that um, they're not massively popular on Instagram, but I have an Instagram hashtag, MBB Audible, hashtag MBB Audible. Uh, and you can see some of the ones that I've put out there already, the Audible word reviews of some of the books that I've already listened to. But I've listened to like probably three times as many as I've reviewed on there so far. I'm just gonna be adding them a little bit at a time. Uh, but I just, I'm such a huge fan. That and podcasts are like, I possibly listen to more things than I do watch. And there's going to be some Audible uh, original series, apparently. I was listening to a podcast the other day and there was an advert. Again, not sponsored by Audible, but truly, like, I don't care if you use my link. Go and subscribe. Like, three ninety nine a month, I think, is a really, really good deal. And um, if you enjoy podcasts, if you enjoy, if you are someone who would watch this video, there'll be some people right now, you're watching this video, you're cleaning, you're washing the pots, you're in the bath, you're doing something where you're possibly not looking at the screen all the time. If you like that, you would enjoy audiobooks. Trust me. Uh, I just want to kind of, um, I want more people to listen to them. And also I want them to be less stigma because it's still taking in the information. You can still kind of grow uh, from taking in that information. You can still be well read without physically reading the book. I am of that opinion, but yeah. I'll leave all the information below. Um, and this I think will probably be my only Black Friday video because I'm not into um, like, and there's this code, and there's this code, and there's this code, but the Amazon stuff, I think Amazon tend to do some really good deals, and, um, especially leading up to Christmas, I tend to buy a lot of things on Amazon, it's just easy, it's the prime thing, it's just easy, I am going to be doing some, uh, shopping party wear and stuff, I think tomorrow will be the first one, uh, so look out for my other weekend shopping videos, and next week I think we're going to do a bit of an anti-haul, uh, to counteract all of the shopping content that is going to be out next weekend, but, yeah, let me know what your favourite thing is that you've purchased on Amazon beauty wise and also let me know if you love Audible as much as I do. Uh, but for now, I will see you guys next time. Bye! Well I've got news for you.